Uh, once we have completed the program for the controllers, uh, we need to test and commission the program. So this video just show how to test and commission the program. Let's start FXPCT. Uh, open the file uh, we complete in previous lab the lab we complete uh, last uh, last one is the VAV box uh, winter 2021 uh, this is the program we complete uh, in previous lab so I open this file Before we do the test and commissioning, uh, we need to check the program, uh, uh, the input and output setting. Uh, here, this area, uh, this area are all input. Uh, this area are all input. Uh, are all inputs. And this side, this area, uh, are outputs. Uh, outputs. So we check the input and output setting. Uh, this one, this is a discharge air velocity pressure. Uh, here, the, you can see the signal. The signal is uh, integrated, uh, digital. Uh, Digital velocity pressure. This is a velocity uh, velocity pressure, and this is internal uh, internal input. Uh, it's analog input uh, input one uh, input one, and this is the occupancy sensor. Uh, this is the signal is a SE bus. Uh, SE bus, which is a the signal, is from the S A bus. This is a from the thermostat we install in the system, uh, and we double click it. Uh, we check the setting here. Uh, the setting here it should the should be unoccupied. Uh, this is default value, uh, and you can see here this is the unoccupied. Uh, I'm okay, so it's correct. Uh, and here is the occupancy sensor, uh, so it's okay. Apply and close. And now we check the uh, supply air temperature input. Uh, this is a universal input. Uh, this is an analog input, uh, analog signal. And this one. The input is one, uh, input one, universal input one, and the signal is resistive, which is the uh, RTD we have. Uh, the RTD is installed in input one, uh, and we this is the zone set point. Uh, zone set point this is the thermostat uh, we install in the system. So this one is installed at the uh, S A bus, uh, so we can see the signal is S A bus. So the signal is correct. And here also we need to check the um, here is the operator override uh, or operator override. This is a uh, the operator even uh, the ten. Uh, tenant, uh, they need, they can uh, change this value. Uh, they change. So this is operator uh, override. Uh, and right now, 
the set point is 72, okay, it's fine. Uh, you can set 72, you can 70, uh, set to 70, or uh, uh, the other values. The, the temperature unit, uh, the unit is a uh, uh, degree Fahrenheit, uh, so which is uh, okay, apply it, and then close. And this is the zone temperature. Uh, zone temperature, this is a thermostat. Uh, thermostat sends the zone temperature. So this is the signal uh, from SA bus. Uh, so this is the signal at SA bus. Uh, and we double click and add it uh, here. This one, um, the setting here uh, right now. Uh, the default value is 72 Fahrenheit degree, uh, so which is a, uh, it's fine, uh, which is fine for now. And so it's uh, apply, uh, so close it. So the all input uh, value, uh, the setting for the input are uh, correct. Uh, and then we, see, we check the output here, um, output here. Uh, this one is the signal is uh, integrity. Uh, integrity is, uh, is, is uh, which is the, the setting we uh, we uh, in the, when we do the program. So it's okay. Uh, and here is also the uh, the setting. It's uh, the setting is integrity uh, integrity and this is a uh, uh, also from the zone temperature change uh, so this is a uh, the process id this uh, follow the uh, zone temperature so this is okay uh, integrity uh, uh, the uh, the units inch water column uh, for now the default value is zero so which is okay here and and here, the, uh, this is the lighting output, uh, lighting output. The lighting output uh, here is the off, uh, the default value is off. So, uh, because the, uh, the system default is unoccupied, so unoccupied, the light is off. Uh, so the, uh, here is off, the units for this value is on or off. Uh, so it's okay. Apply and close. Uh, and this is the uh, output point for the occupancy sensor. Uh, occupancy sensor. Uh, this value, a different value here. Uh, this is the uh, occupancy effective. Uh, the number one is occupied. Uh, two is unoccupied, uh, three is uh, by bus, and the uh, four is standby. Uh, the default one is unoccupied. Uh, so, which is a uh, uh, if the sensor, occupancy sensor, it's uh, uh, unoccupied. So, the output here is unoccupied. So, it's okay. And then close it. Uh, if here output is unoccupied then light is off so default uh, the lighting system default value is off uh, and here is the heating output uh, this is a uh, if the um, <coughs> uh, if the set point uh, is higher than the zone temperature, uh, then the, uh, the heating will start. If the zone, uh, the zone set point is lower than the room temperature, then the heating is off. The output is um, output one. The output is output one here. Uh, output one. It's binary output, uh, which is a turn on or turn off the heating system. Uh, 
So here the default value is off. And the, uh, for this value, uh, it, the unit is on or off. So it is a correct. So all input output value setting are correct. Also, we need to check uh, supply flow calculation. Uh, this is for the system to calculate the airflow. Uh, the airflow depends on the airflow velocity and the size of the duct. Uh, the airflow velocity is just sensed by the, uh, the pressure differential sensor inside the duct. Uh, uh, this signal is input uh, to the controller. Uh, for the area of the duct, uh, uh, the duct size, its diameter is 6 inches. Uh, so its area, the cross area, is around 0 0.18 square feet. Uh, so here, this is the this is the area, uh, the area is uh, uh, 0 0.18 square feet. Uh, the pickup gain is zero. So uh, the setting for supply flow calculation, uh, it's okay. So close. Uh, now we check the points assigned, uh, check the points assigned, uh, which is a, a defined uh, hardware. This is the controller. We select the controller. Which controller this program need to load to? Uh, here it shows the VA V win, uh, box winter 2021. Uh, this is the controller name. Uh, this is the controller name, which is the program. Uh, and here is the controller. Uh, uh, model uh, model number. Uh, if the model number is not the one we we are using, then we need to select from here. Uh, select the one uh, we are using. And then okay, we will show you uh, the uh, the controller name and uh, uh, the model number of the controller uh, on this box. Uh, so now we check the points assigned. Uh, Check the points assigned. You can see here, uh, this one is a supply air temperature. Supply air temperature, these points. Uh, this, uh, this is the, the sensor, uh, temperature sensor input. Uh, this is a universal uh, temperature uh, a value. It's an analog value input in uh, input one, uh, input one. And this is a discharge air velocity pressure. Uh, this, se this sensor, uh, the, the pressure differential sensor, is in the VAV box. Uh, uh, those, two, those two tubes uh, sense this pressure differential, the input to the controller. Uh, this is an analog, uh, analog input uh, in the, uh, in the Input uh, input four, input four here, and this is an internal input. Uh, so this is an internal input, and here this is the lighting output. Uh, this is a binary output, a binary output. The output terminal is output one. Uh, this is a binary output. So which is a turn on or turn off the uh, lighting system. Here, this is the heating, uh, the heating system output. Uh, the output turn on or turn off the uh, heating system. This is supplemental heating uh, source. Uh, it, it, this signal is the binary output. The output is output two, uh, output two. Uh, and here, these two, these are two. Uh, these are two uh, damper uh, output, uh, outputs. Uh, 
output one and uh, six and seven. Uh, output six and seven. This is an internal, uh, internal one. Uh, this is the integrity. Uh, the values are integrity. Uh, so uh, these are all the points assigned. Uh, sometimes some uh, some points not assigned, then you can manually uh, assign it to the input or output. Uh, and then we check the uh, uh, the network setting. Network setting here. Uh, it, uh, here is the controller model number. Uh, here is the controller model, which is uh, FX PCV eighteen thirty two. The, the name of this controller uh, or this program is uh, VVBox Winter 2021. Uh, and the, the address of this controller is uh, number one, uh, number 11. Uh, number 11, yeah. Uh, number 11. And instant number, you can set any number. You can you just set it 11 uh, two. Uh, so this setting uh, the for the hardware it's complete uh, and before we load the program we need to check the uh, the hardware uh, the controller uh, so this one uh, it's complete uh, and now we can load, uh, we can load the, this program uh, to the controller. Uh, so uh, this PCT is uh, the version is 10.1. So you can see there is a low button here. Uh, this one load the program to the uh, uh, to the controller, or load the program from the controller to the computer. Uh, so we just. Uh, uh, we click load and here will remind you save the changes yes uh, because uh, we did uh, we did some uh, change uh, we did some changes uh, so yes on this page uh, the computer and the uh, controller they are going to communicating uh, communicate to each other. Uh, uh, this process is a through Bluetooth, uh, through Bluetooth. And this one, uh, now we download the program uh, to the controller. Uh, this process is called download to the device. Uh, download the program to the controller. Uh, so, and for the um, Bound, uh, bound rate uh, here, there are different values here, uh, uh, different value here, but 38,400, this is a system recommended. Uh, and the Bluetooth, uh, we threw the Bluetooth uh, to load the program to the controller, uh, but which comports for, uh, for the Bluetooth in the computer? So this one we need to figure out in the, in the computer. So we go to here to uh, first step. We check the Bluetooth. Uh, it's connected or not. Uh, so we come to here the computer to check the Bluetooth device. Uh, Bluetooth device uh, in this area. I will show you here a uh, different Bluetooth device. A Bluetooth device here, this one is as we are using. Uh, is in, uh, in, uh, we are using is in the assistant and it's paired. Uh, it's paired. So, um, but we need to figure out the COM port uh, in the computer uh, for this Bluetooth. So we come to uh, control panel, uh, control panel, 
control panel uh, view devices and printers and in here we'll show you all the Bluetooth device uh, this one uh, is the one uh, we are working on so we check the properties and then the service uh, here will show you the COM ports here uh, this COM port is for the Bluetooth we are using uh, so OK uh, and then close close so here we just uh, input uh, COM port 5 and then next and here you can see the, uh, the computer uh, connect to the connecting uh, to the uh, to the system uh, connecting to the system now it's connected uh, here I'll show you the connected now so and here you can see this is the the, uh, uh, the controller uh, we are working on uh, which is the FX PCV 1832. Uh, so we select this one uh, and then next. Uh, if the system, uh, if the system is big, uh, the many controllers, then all the con controllers will connect, uh, will, will uh, display, will be displayed here. And then you select the one uh, you are working on. So then next. On this page, uh, on this page uh, here, uh, display the low summary. On this page, you can see the controller name, uh, the controller name. And this is the controller models, uh, model number. And here is the address of the controller. So this is the one we need to load to uh, the one we need to load to uh, so we just uh, click uh, finish we click the finish and then the communication between the computer and the controller yeah you can see uh, the program is loading uh, to the controller so you can see the bluetooth the blue light is on, which means the, uh, the program is loading to the controller through the Bluetooth. Once the process completes, the blue light will be off. See, now the blue light is off, so the loading is complete. Yeah. Once loading the program to the controller, it's complete. Uh, we need to, uh, to test, uh, we need to test and commission the program. Now we test the program. Uh, uh, click simulate. Uh, simulate uh, here will show you uh, all the input uh, input value here. Uh, input and output value here. Uh, here you can see discharge air. Uh, discharge air velocity pressure and the. Uh, Damper position, uh, damper position now uh, is zero, and here the occupancy sensor uh, is unoccupied. Uh, supply air temperature, which is a uh, uh, 55, this is a default. Uh, and here is the output heating. Uh, now it's off, uh, and this one is a, a zoom set point, uh, a temperature, a zoom temperature, not all. Uh, default values. 
Now, here, so here is all uh, display the input output value. Here, these are, are this, these are all default value. Now, and then we, we OK. Now we start uh, simulations. Uh, you can see here this side. Uh, this side is the input, uh, input, and this side are uh, outputs. Uh, you can see the value, uh, the input and output value here. Here, uh, this uh, discharge air velocity pressure. Uh, this default value is zero. Uh, default value is zero. When it's uh, is zero and the output, the damper position output, this one's uh, uh, zero. Uh, and the uh, occupancy sensor, uh, occupancy sensor here is unoccupied. Uh, unoccupied and then the output uh, occupy, uh, occupan, occupied mode and uh, this is a uh, uh, it's unoccupied and the lighting is off. Uh, supply air temperature, this is the RTD uh, uh, default value, it's a 55 Fahrenheit degree. And this one is the set point, room temperature set point. Uh, uh, default value is 72. Uh, and the zone temperature, uh, this is the thermostat sense the zoom, uh, zoom temperature. Uh, if the set point is equal or higher than the room zone temperature, then uh, the output heating uh, is off. Uh, it's off. So we uh, these are all inputs and these are all outputs. Now we simulate and we manually change these values, uh, change this value and then see what's the output. Uh, um, like we see the occupancy sensor. Uh, we can set uh, we can set the uh, 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 we can set to change its value. Uh, click right click uh, command and here we click this button and then we change unoccupied to occupied. So change this value uh, to occupied. So OK and then send this value to the, uh, to the sensor. Uh, so you see it changed to occupied. Once the sensor is occupied sense the occupied and then the you can see output mode is occupied in this case the light is on uh, the light is on mm -hmm. uh, right now we change the zoom set point uh, the zoom set point same same thing right click uh, the uh, command uh, command and then we click this one and we change the set point to higher temperature. If the higher temperature, the uh, heating should be on. Uh, it's supposed to be set to uh, 80 Fahrenheit degree, uh, which, is the, which is the set point. And then send. So we change the zoom set point from 72 to 80. Uh, now it's 80. So you can see here, uh, because the set point is higher than the zone temperature. So it's called for heat. So the, uh, the heating uh, is on. Uh, so the heating is on. So this operation is correct. Now we uh, we see the off cycle and you can see because the uh, damper output now it's uh, 
is also follow the zone temperature. Follow the zone temperature when the if the heating is on, so the damper is open, supply the warm air to the zone. Uh, right now we see uh, we see uh, the off cycle, uh, off cycle. Uh, if we set the occupancy sensor back to uh, to common, uh, we set this one back to common, uh, uh, back to un unoccupied, uh, uh, back to unoccupied. Sorry. Uh, on uh, an occupied, uh, we change. Uh, we, cha uh, we change the occupancy sensor value back to unoccupied, uh, and then we uh, here we change to unoccupied or restore uh, unoccupied, uh, and then. Uh, set to unoccupied uh, set to uh, restore uh, which, which is uh, back to unoccupied and then see here it's unoccupied. Unoccupied and here it's output the occupancy mode it's unoccupied. In this case the light will be off. Uh, uh, it will be a little bit delayed. A uh, little bit delayed. And here we also we change uh, we change the set point. We change the set point. Now the set points are higher than the zone temperature. Uh, uh, zone temperature. And then we uh, we change uh, change it to lower temperature. Uh, lower temperature here. And then suppose we set to uh, like sixty uh, Fahrenheit degree. And then set it. Uh, so we change the set point. From 80 to 60. Uh, so the set point is lower than the zone temperature. So the heating should be off. Uh, should be off. You can see here it's off. And uh, here the lighting is off. Uh, now it's off. And you see the damper is closed. Uh, the damper is a uh, uh, 0%, uh, which means it's a all closed. Uh, this is uh, how to simulate uh, the uh, this program. Uh, now we uh, commission uh, commission the uh, the program. Uh, so we stop the simulation mode. Okay, let's see uh, how to commission, uh, how to commission the, uh, the program. Uh, click commission, yeah, save the changes. Uh, yes. Uh, commission the program is through the computer. Uh, so uh, we need to uh, commission through the computer. Uh, so here, uh, the same thing, uh, through the Bluetooth, uh, uh, the computer and the controller communicate through uh, the Bluetooth. Uh, so uh, the Bluetooth comport uh, is 5. Uh, the bound rate is 38,400. This is correct. So next. Uh, 
so now you can see uh, it's connecting uh, the uh, computer and the uh, controllers. Now it's uh, connected. Uh, you can see this is the, uh, the controller we are working on. So select it and then next. So on this page, uh, this is a com commission uh, summary uh, saying uh, indicate the uh, controller name, uh, controller um, controller model number, and also the address. So it's correct, and then we finish continue. Uh, This is the commission <coughs> uh, commission mode. Uh, commission mode. And here, this is the uh, uh, the damp uh, damp uh, dis discharge air uh, velocity pressure. This is a discharge air velocity pressure. Uh, occupancy sensor here. Now it's unoccupied. Uh, unoccupied and here this is a supplied air temperature this is a RTD sensor sends the supplied air temperature and here uh, is a zoom set point uh, the zoom set point uh, this is a, the thermostat uh, thermostat the set point now is a 65.8 uh, degree Fahrenheit and this is the zone temperature. This is the uh, double step sends the zone temperature now. Uh, and output side here, this is the damp position. Now it's zero, uh, zero. Because the, uh, the set point, it's lower than the zone temperature. So the damp position, it's uh, close. Uh, here it's closed. Uh, occupancy sensor is unoccupied, so the lighting is uh, off. Uh, the, because the uh, uh, occupancy mode, it, <coughs> output occupancy mode, it's unoccupied, so the lighting is off. Uh, the heating is off because the, uh, the zoom set point uh, is lower than the zoom temperature. So now we, uh, uh, we start uh, uh, we start to commission now uh, we start commissioning um, unoccupied right now the sensor of the uh, occupancy sensor now I use something to cover it uh, to add, to cover it if I remove the uh, the cover and then you will sense the people uh, in the zone, in the room. Uh, so in this case, the output uh, occupancy mo mode is occupied and the light, uh, the lighting should be on. Uh, now I remove it. You can see here, uh, occupancy sensor, uh, because I removed the cover, uh, I removed the cover, uh, occupancy sensor, uh, it's occupied now, it sends the, the people in the zoom, uh, in the zoom, so uh, it's occupied, so the output uh, occupancy mode, it's occupied, the lighting is on, uh, the lighting is on. And uh, let's change. Uh, let's change the uh, the zoom set point. Uh, we increase the set point, and then uh, to see what's the output. Uh, if the set point is higher than uh, zoom temperature, then 
the heating uh, should be on. Uh, let's change the, the zoom, change the zoom set on uh, higher. Uh, now it's higher. 70, 72, 73, and let's look at higher. Okay, 78.5 now. Uh, you can see now the zoom set point is 78.5. Uh, uh, here, this is 78.6 here. It's higher than zoom temperature. So the output here, the heating, it's on. Uh, it's on. Uh, now we see the uh, off cycle. Uh, we see the off cycle. We set, uh, we use something to cover, uh, to cover the occupancy sensor. Uh, again, cover it back. So it doesn't sense the people uh, the, in the in the zoom. So it should, it should become, uh, it should become uh, unoccupied. Uh, and then output occupancy mode uh, should be unoccupied. And then the lights should be off. Uh, the lights should be off. Uh, so now we cover it back. Oh, and also, uh, also we set uh, the set point lower than the uh, zoom temperature. Uh, we use the thermostat to set the set point lower than zoom temperature. Uh, and then the uh, heating should be off. Uh, heating should be off. Let's, let's uh, change the temperature set point first. Now it's at 73. Seventy-five, seventy-three, seventy-one, looking lower, sixty-four. Just a change to sixty-four. So the set point is sixty-four. Uh, here, uh, uh, the thermostat set point uh, is, is set to 64 Fahrenheit degree. So it's uh, lower than the zoom temperature. So the heating is off. Uh, the heating is off. Uh, right now, we cover. Uh, we cover the occupancy sensor. So the occupancy sensor sh should go back to unoccupied. Uh, so I cover it, cover it, then uh, the sense occupancy sensor uh, will be some time uh, delayed, uh, maybe five minutes, uh, around five minutes. Delayed becomes unoccupied. So this this is the commissioning process. Uh, now you can see. Uh, now you can see um, the occupancy sensor is unoccupied. And the output occupancy mode, it's unoccupied. The lighting, it's off. Uh, here. Yeah, the time is a little bit delayed. Uh, the time, this is the commissioning process. Uh, this is the commissioning process.